Thank you. It seems Flane is still missing. What could have happened to her? Everyone, hurry! I heard a scream coming from Professor Yuritsa's room! Yuritsa? Ah, the combat professor with the mask. He has always been rather suspicious. We must hurry. Professor Yuritsa? Are you there? He does not seem to be here. Hmm? On the ground. Professor Manuela! She's unconscious. Someone clearly attacked her. Look at her hand. It looks as though she is pointing at something. There. There's an opening behind that shelf. Perhaps a secret passageway. What is the meaning of... Wait, is that Manuela? What happened here? We know as much as you do. She needs to be taken to the infirmary. Yes, of course. And quickly. Give me a hand, child. Understood. I'll support her head. Professor, I'll be back shortly. Please be careful. Does this mean Professor Yuritsa did it? Could he also have kidnapped Flane? We should start by investigating this passageway. Do you agree, Professor? Agreed. The culprit could be hiding inside. That settles it. We'll take the offensive. Here we come, you monsters! Shall we, Professor? I never would have imagined. Hmm? I see someone. They're unconscious. Yes. And there is someone else, too. It appears to be another student. Someone's coming. I recognize that Scython mask. It's that jerk we fought at the Holy Mausoleum. That sword. You must be. One of us will die. The other will live. I will enjoy this dance of damnation. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. I am grateful.
Our objective is to recover Flame. Let us hope we are not too late. Hmm. Something odd about the floor over there. What will happen if we step on it? Stay focused. Should I have held back? That wasn't my best. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. As you wish. That's my cue. Sweet of you. Ugh, battle. I will get the victory. Chance to grow.
You fought well. Only a fool challenges me. Always getting stronger. Contraptions in the floor. Stay alert. I have held back. The mark of nobility.
Dino You are not. This can't be right. I think. Hardly worth my time. Next time, bring your friends. That is that. One more success. Still raring to go.
Alter. gone. For Lady Edelgard. Let the lesson begin! You fought well. A fine display.
So you have come. I'll make sure you never leave. How humiliating. This strength will serve Lady Edelgard well. not misplace my heart. Interesting apparatus. I wonder if we can operate it.
one more success. Should I have held back? Could have at least tried. Another win. I could have been sleeping this whole time. Kill them. Halt, you're having a bit too much fun. You are getting in the way of my game. Huh. You'll have more opportunities to play soon. Your work here is done. Understood. I will go. We will cross paths again. I am the Flame Emperor. It is I who will reforge the world. Flame Emperor? Rather worrisome that he sounds intent on showing up again. Are they both okay? We should get them out of here. The enemy is withdrawn. Let's carry them up.
Thank you so much. They're pale and their pulses are slow. Still, I don't believe their lives are in danger. You found Flame? Where? You missed the most important part of the mission. We found her within that secret passage. The culprits were the Death Knight and... What was his name? Ah, the Flame Emperor. Sadly, they got away. All that matters is Flame's safety. Right, Professor? We will take these two to the infirmary. Professor, please inform Seteth. Whatever the circumstance, I'm glad Flame is safe. Though I'm curious to find out who that other girl is. Huh? Professor? Is that a smile? <laughs> you look happy. I don't think I've ever seen you like this before. Anyhow, we should hurry to Seteth. He must be beside himself by now. Professor, please allow me to express my eternal gratitude once more. Flane is safe and sound, and I have you to thank for that. Mere words could never express how thankful I am. I... I am indebted to you. Yes, indeed. I... I too am overjoyed. Her kidnapper was the Masked Knight who vanished during the Rite of Rebirth, the one known as the Death Knight. Considering the circumstances, it seems plausible to assume that his true identity is Yuritsa. And we cannot forget about the mysterious Flame Emperor. His true motives are yet unclear. However, I have an idea. I believe the enemy may have been after Flane's blood. The blood that flows through her veins is special. It is extremely rare, and extremely dangerous. If enemies who know the secrets of Flane's blood have appeared, our only option is to leave the monastery and go into hiding. Brother, wait. Flane, what are you doing here? You should be resting. I do not like the path of your thoughts. I do not wish to live in some lonely, remote location where I never get to see anyone. Not ever again. If we stay here, you may be targeted again. Wouldn't it be better for the two of us to live in peace? Even if we ran off to some new, secret location, there is no guarantee that they would not find us. That is why I believe it would be safest to stay in the monastery, where we are surrounded by capable knights and professors. I see your point. I do. However... It... You know it is the only reasonable option. What if I were to join the professor's class? You think so too? I am so very pleased to hear that. With a professor like you nearby, I shall be safe no matter what foe should appear. I see. I am afraid you have a good point. Professor, due to my position, I have closely scrutinized everything about you. After all that has happened, I must admit that you are indeed a trusted ally. So what say you? Can I entrust you with Flane's safety? I am so glad that Flane is safe, yet I can't help but wonder what the story is about that other girl. She wore the uniform of the Academy, but who is she? Well done, Professor. I see that I was right to ask your class for assistance. I have been told that Manuela and Flane are recovering nicely, as is Monica. Monica, the girl you rescued along with Flane, is also a student of the Officer's Academy. However... She is a student from last year's class. She went missing just before she would have graduated. It never occurred to us that something might have happened to her at the monastery. We assumed she had run away. I never dreamed that we would find her. Not like this. 
Monica has asked to rejoin the Black Eagle House once she has fully recovered. Our enemies are still out there, so we must remain cautious and continue our investigation. However, we must also help the students to move on from this incident. After all, the Battle of the Eagle and Lion will be held in Grander Field next month. Yes, the students will remember it for the rest of their lives. Please guide them so that they may show us their best at the coming battle. So, you'll be going to Grander Field next month. You've never been there before, have you? There is unease in the western side of the Empire, but everything east of the capital, Anbar, is stable. Well, there was a noble rebellion a short while ago, but it didn't amount to much. Sorry, but I've got my own mission, and it's far from Grander Field. The Church has always been quick to make use of those who work for them. What I'm more concerned about is finding out who among us is pulling the strings. Ever since the Rite of Rebirth, strange groups have been seen around Garrig Mach and elsewhere too. There was also an incident where some knights investigating these suspicious strangers turned up dead. Not that it's likely, but if something like that ever happens to me, search this room, every corner, behind every shelf, I'm going to leave something for you. Don't get me wrong, I have no intention of dying. I know it would be too much to ask you to cheer up, but can you at least drop the serious... <laughs> well, I'll be. Was that a smile just now? Part 1. White Clouds. Wyvern Moon. Field of the Eagle and Lion. From on high, flocks of wyverns roar in chorus and soar the pristine skies, heading south for the winter. Fodlan's children lend their hands to winter preparations by gathering firewood and catching fish from the river's cool waters. Yet all the while, their gazes are turned skyward, drawn to the magnificent sight above. Hey, Professor, did I ever tell you what happened with that thief? I went after him, and I did manage to catch up, but... Sort of. I actually decided not to make him pay for it. <laughs> My pockets were pretty empty after that incident, if you want to know the truth. Well, what happened was, when I caught him, I asked him why he stole the book. He said he thought it would fetch a good price and that he really needed the money. He had a sick kid and couldn't pay for medicine. Oh, maybe you're right. But if he really did have a sick child, that would be a matter of life and death. A little money is nothing compared to that. I'd rather believe a lie than risk someone's life if I'm wrong. And to be completely honest, there was a time when I wasn't so different from him. It was a long time ago, and I've put all that behind me now. But yes, I was. My parents died of illness, so I had to provide for my little brother and sister. I did my best to earn money for them legitimately, but I wasn't able to bring home enough. 
So I turned to thieving. From people on the streets, from shops, even from soldiers. I knew it was wrong, but seeing my brother and sister's smiling faces made me too happy to stop. I really regret that part of my life. I was stupid. But shortly after I turned nine, I crept into a local noble's mansion, aiming to steal whatever I could get my hands on. The noble had all sorts of valuables, but what really caught my eye was a book with a fancy cover. That book was Lug and the Maiden of Wind. The night in the illustrations was so impressive I just couldn't tear my eyes away. You probably see where this is going. Moments after I grabbed the book, I was caught in the act by the noble. And that noble was none other than Lenato. But Lenato was incredibly kind. Without asking any questions, he gave me the book. And money, too. When I told him I couldn't read, he invited me into his mansion, along with my brother and sister. He taught me how to read, personally. So, with the thief I caught in town, I was trying to do the same thing, to be like Lenato. I want to make up for the bad things I've done, to leave this world better than I found it. That's why, even if it wasn't easy on my pockets, I'm proud to say I helped him. I know what you're trying to say. My contribution probably won't change much. And it's not like I have the money to help everyone who's suffering from poverty. Even so, I can't bear to stand by and do nothing. What else could I have done, Professor? Professor, you already know about the Battle of the Eagle and Lion, correct? I see. In that case, allow me to fill you in. It's a large-scale mock battle between the rival houses that takes place every year. Its scale is incomparable to the mock battle we fought during the Great Tree Moon. It will take place in the vast Grander Field. That is in Empire territory to the southeast of Garrick Mock. Whichever house defeats the most opponents wins. Of course, the professors also fight alongside their respective houses. Well, usually. Professor Manuela is being prudent. She will not be participating this year. Since his longtime rival will be absent, Professor Hanneman has also declined. Oh, don't worry about us. You know you want to see the kids in action. Are you feeling any better, Professor Manuela? Thanks to all of you. But I'd only be a burden out there. My students don't need to see me collapsed. Well, not on the battlefield, anyway. Correct. We will not be participating. Regardless, do not expect victory to come easily. Or at all. Well put. We've spent the past few months pushing our students to their limits. You can see me in the infirmary after they destroy you. My, look at you! If you're as confident as all that, my students will walk all over you. We have taught our students well. There is no need to hold back. Challenge them with everything you have.